He chose me to go and receive them that cry out to search and to eat. And teach his world to repent, teach him not to sin. He chose me, he chose me. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Seeking and reaching and teaching. Teach elevation or seeking. Let me answer some of you sisters' questions here real quick. Sisters got good questions. I'm glad y'all be reading, sisters. Because y'all put y'all emotions into the reading. And y'all be coming up with some good questions. All right. Uh, okay, let me answer this quick one. It says, do we go to the wilderness? Yes, Ezekiel 20. Is that where I'm on? Ezekiel chapter 20. I want to restart at verse 33, and we'll read on down. Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 33. As I live, saith the Lord God, surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out will I rule over you. Uh -huh. And I will bring you out from the people and will gather you out of the countries wherein ye are scattered with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out. And I will bring you into the wilderness so of the people. I'm going to bring you into the wilderness. I'm taking you up out of the country. Like I said in, in my prayer, I said, Lord, take us home. Give us rest. This ain't my land. I don't want to be here. I'm tired of faking like I like it. Like I told you, I live from what? I live from Sunday to Wednesday, from Wednesday to Saturday. That's how I break down my week, make it short in my mind. Read on. Like... With the wilderness of the people, and there will I plead with you face to face. How does God plead with us? Does anybody know? Plead, because we think now, we think pleading is like a form of begging. So, does it, anybody know how does God plead with us? You. How does He plead? You got a precept? All right, see him. All right, uh, Zashe, I ain't heard from you. Yeah. Levi with the cut. Get ready for Passover. All right, single brother. Bring it out. Josh, look, just three seconds. Go ahead, brother. What's the precept? How does God plead with us? Isaiah 66, verse 16. There we go. Let's go to it. Brother got precepts. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 16. Teach it. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. That's how God pleads with it. Ain't no please. Will you keep the commandments now that I took you out of your homeland? No, 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 no. Fire and sword. Read on. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back. That's the precept for plead. So let's read verse 36. Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 36. Now he's going to get very descriptive on his plea. Like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt. How did God plead with us in the land of, in the wilderness, uh, Brother Naeem? How did he plead? He killed everybody that didn't want to keep the commandments. What did he tell Moses? He said, Moses, move that I may consume them all. I'll make of a great nation out of you. <laughs> I killed everybody. I, I, start, I did it once, I'll do it again. <laughs> Not in the hill. All right, so he said, like I pleaded. So he's going to say, thou shall not. We're going to get to the other side. That's why this thing over here is rehearsal. You better be practicing to make perfect over there. You're going to get there, he's going to say, thou shall not. Do you understand? And he's going to ask us just like we did in Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. Once again, all the people said, amen. Amen. Everybody stepped out of line, he put their hands on poles. Moses, get them Levites, chop off everybody's head and hang them up facing the sun. So it says, I will bring you into the wilderness of the people, and there will I plead with you, like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness, so will I plead with you, saith the Lord God. Read on. And I will cause you to pass under the rock. This is going to answer two questions in one. Because another one says, what does it mean to go under the rod? You're going to fall into subjection. You're going to fall in line with God, what he says. Or you're going to get the hammer. 
And guess what? I'll, I'll show you what that ham is here in a minute. Read on. And I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. The covenant was that keep my commandments, obey my voice. That's the covenant. So it says uh, with the rod, right? Let me show you what he gonna, how you pass under the rod you step out of line. Luke 19, I think it's 27. It's going to be Christ doing all this. Luke chapter 19 and verse 27. Not my Jesus. Yes, yes, yo Jesus. <laughs> Uh, hold on, hold on, let's see, what's up, huh? Yeah, yeah, read verse 27. Luke chapter 19 and verse 27. But those, my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them. That don't want to pass under the rod and fall into rejection, uh, subjection. subjection. Bring hither and slay them before me. Ooh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> said, bring them here. Just like he did in the wilderness. Uh, drop a little something up to us in the woods. That's for another time. Got classes on it. But that was Christ telling chop off heads. Move out the way, I'll kill them all. That was Christ. Because remember, it says he's the same yesterday, today, and what? Forever. Forever. All right. So if you don't want to fall under the rod, the subjection of Christ, when we go to the wilderness and he teaches us over again, he's going to kill you. Read on in uh, Ezekiel chapter 20. Go back to that and uh, verse 38. Yes, sir. Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 38. And I will purge out from among you the rebels. Those that won't, don't want to keep those commandments. You get over there and you got some kind of attitude. You're in your emotions. You don't feel like it. You're hungry. You're murmuring like your forefathers did in the wilderness. Read on. And them that transgress against me. Uh -huh. I will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn, and they shall not enter into the land of Israel. You ain't going in. Just like the first generation did not go in, you ain't going in either once we get over there. That's why we have to rehearse the righteous acts here so you can perfect them over there. It's going to get even harder as time goes on because God is all about order. Thou shalt not. This is it. You understand? Okay. Don't step out of line today. I'm not going to repeat myself twice. You don't want to do it? Slay you. Uh, go to, I think it's 1 Thessalonians. Is anything on there? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go now. Now, right? Let's talk about wilderness. Let's piece it together how we get there. All right? I think it's 1 Thessalonians 4. Uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse, let's start at 13. How we get to the wilderness. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 13. But I, would, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. So just because someone has passed on in this truth, he's, Paul's trying to exhort you don't be sad because he kept these commandments he died keeping these commandments in the faith of Christ you gonna see him again where at you just read about it read on for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again even so then also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him mm -hmm. for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord. So he's letting you know some of us ain't going to die. Some of us will see those chariots come out the sky. We don't know who, we don't know when, but some of us is going to see the glory of the Lord. That's why a few prophets said, I wish to be dead when that thing happens. <laughs> Go ahead. The toughest of tough guys. Mm. You're going to see a little stream run down his, his leg. <laughs> <laughs> and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. You know? For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Uh -huh. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. 
so shall we ever be with the Lord. Uh -huh. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So now you understand how you're going to get to the wilderness. You read Psalm 91, that the angels is going to protect you and lift you up. So yeah, we all going to the wilderness if you endure to the end. If not, you left over here for the bombs. That's Christ said in Matthew 7, right? I think it's 15. Uh, no, 21. He said, I never knew you. Yeah. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. Those are being sin. All right, so yeah, we're going to the world. <laughs>